One of the huge highlights of my trip was the wizarding world of Harry Potter at the Universal Orlando Resort. And I was going to find out if I was a muggle or a wizard. Okay, so we have reached the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Well, at least London. You can see the night bus sitting over there. And... I don't know, it looks just like a wall. Yeah, don't trip on the wall, that would be pretty funny. Yep. And the best thing is I'd be doing on a live video. Well, not live, but... Oh, hey, look. It's a fishy. Very cool. Sweet. Okay, so who's gonna play with the wand first? <laughs> so we've been given a couple wands that we have to play with. We're well, Laurel gets to do the wand. Okay. Because you can see her standing there, so. So Laurel is going to demonstrate. Assuming that she can get over here safely. Okay, so what you do is you look for the little little things in the And Laura finally learned how to flush a toilet. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, Mr. I say we know who the better wizard is. Hey. Either that or the wand has adopted him. Oh dear. Well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Ollivander's. Real good there. What's really cool when you walk into the Gringotts Bake is it looks just like it did in the movie. You can actually see all the goblins sitting at their desks working away and you've got to walk right past them on your way up to the desk. It's really neat. It looks so cool. They've even got the huge chandelier that was in the movie. Just gorgeous. So your first stop, the front desk before you can get past the gates and on into the rest of Gringotts. Okay, so we're in the queue for Harry Potter here. We've just gotten our picture taken. You notice that the newspapers actually move. Very cool. And the bank itself was awesome. And then, of course, we still have that to go. What was that? The Weasley's Wildfire Whiz Bangs. Fireworks from my brother's friend, George. Bill what are you doing here? This is my office, Lord Act. The question is, what are you doing here? I was about to show our new clients the vault. I was just getting the keys. Ah, well, I moved them. All you have to do is ask. Have your keys. Hmm. How did you get in here? We haven't seen you. Well, don't let me keep you from your tour. I just need to pick up a few things and I'll be on my way. You haven't seen me. Hmm. Actually, if you don't mind, I'll join you on your tour. We can all leave together. I'll meet you at your car. After that stop, it's time to take the elevator down. Ooh, down elevator. Scary! You are now approaching the car station. See, what you can't see is the floor 
chairs moving too. When you exit the lift. So Gringotts is an absolutely incredible ride. You've got to escape from the bank and you feel like you're really doing it. And yes, that dragon there does play a role. I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but oh my goodness, it was just an absolutely incredible ride. My biggest regret is we didn't get time to go back and do it again. Fantastic, fantastic ride. Easily one of my two or three favorites on the whole trip. Sir Willow wasn't meant to be a wizard. Aaron's gonna use one of the girls' wands here. So make sure you're doing the right motion on the crown there. There you go. Very cool. As you can see, they've already got a drinking problem. It's not even noon. No. Five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> There's just so much to see in this whole area here. You got the House Elf Placement Agency. And back to the Leaky Cauldron. Now we're at Ollivander's earlier. There's Gregorovich. And then of course you got the Weasleys. Really cool. This is the King's Cross Station and of course, you know in the subway you've always got the people that are out there playing. Very cool. <laughs> Chicken your prams. Here in the US we call them strollers. UK they're prams. And of course, Brazilian tour group. I have to say, I'm really impressed actually with this tour group because they are being really good. And I think this is the end of them. There we go. Buy it orderly? They can come back anytime. The next trains depart from platform. Talk about a really neat effect. Of course, if you get over here, well, okay, now we can actually see how, how it's open. There's through a glass window. And here we are at platform nine and three quarters. And here comes the train.
Boy, I must have acclimated quickly because there's snow here and I don't feel that cold. Amazing. And that is the line for the train later. I love Express Pass. <laughs> Please respect the spell limits. That would mean you, Laurel. Huh? Respect the spell limits. <laughs> so we're in line for the three broomsticks and we did actually find something our express passes don't work for. Food! Oh, it's your fault, Laurel. You should have known better. So this is the three broomsticks and you can see it is a busy place. So I ordered the spare ribs. I'm gonna steal a little bit of fish. And yes, I did order the butterbeer. I actually had a sip earlier of Laurel's cup, and let's just say I love butterscotch, and oh yeah. Time for lunch at the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> oh, doesn't that look good? Mmm, ribs, chicken, fish, corn. Good enough to eat? Wait. <laughs> Laurel's got to wipe her face. Uh... So let's see, we ended up with, what, you had the combo platter with the rib and chicken. Chicken, uh, ribs. And then I had the ribs, and I had a uh, kid's meal with fish, which was a good thing since Laurel ended up with just a side of fries. So she's been stealing food from both of us. She always was a thief. <laughs> <laughs> but good food. So I'm stuffed. <laughs> Laurel's having a hard time getting... Might be doing it down a little bit more. See, it's definitely gotten much more crowded here. <laughs> There's a lot of people in here. All right, let's see. Doop, doop, doop. All right, you want to try that one? There it goes. <laughs> Aaron's got the magic touch. Get closer. Come to one conclusion since every time I've used the wand, I haven't been able to do it. I'm not a wizard. I'm definitely muggle. Fully muggle. I can be a squib. I don't even know if I qualify as that at this point. <laughs> time for the ride that started it all. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey all the way over in Hogwarts Castle. This was going to be cool. So we're in the line for... Um, Forbidden Journey, there it is. I was like, ah, oh, what's the ride? 
Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Supposedly. And hey, look. There's stuff. Walls and lines and lots of lines. Supposedly the line's 20 minutes long. But we've been told there's a lot of stuff that you can't see from the express pass line, so we're gonna do the regular line once and then we'll come around and express pass it again later. I have to say that the locker situation there though was really crazy. Very crowded. And to see all the greenhouses. As you can see, Forbidden Journey has an incredible queue. You walk through and you get to see the statues and you feel like you're walking right through the castle. Even the points and hey, is that Gryffindor ahead? Aw, oh, Ravenclaw! You've even got the sorting hat there. <laughs> then again, with all these muggles running about, perhaps a dragon is just one. What a dreadful thing to say, Salazar. A few muggles might be just what the Slytherin team needs, judging from their most recent efforts. Exactly when was the last time your house won the Quidditch Cup, Salazar? I will not dignify that. Oh. Um, excuse me, we reckon we should warn you. If you stay much longer, you'll find yourself listening to Professor Bins go on about the history of Hogwarts. Which, it should be pointed out, is rather fascinating. One book I highly recommend, which is an absolutely riveting read, is The Field of Bagshots at Hogwarts. Um, perhaps another time, am I? The point is, Professor Bins is very, very boring. Which is understandable, as he's dead. Yeah. What one means to say is he's a ghost. Yeah, well, dead are like ghosts. Sort of requirements. They're muggles, somebody, not morons. There's something on morons. My parents happen to be muggles, if you recall one of them. Anyway, we thought you might prefer to come with us and see a game of Quidditch. But to get you there, we have to sneak you out the castle. All these pictures that talk and move. We just got done with Wizarding World of Harry Potter and uh, the Forbidden Journey. Neat ride system. I'm really surprised they haven't put that in place in any other places. Laurel's telling me that's her favorite ride ever. So, and poor Aaron, he had one ride and he was done. He's a wuss. So, we'll to give him a little roller coaster later and then see who's the wuss. But we're on our way into Jurassic Park now. Neat ride though. Um, I can see why it can make people dizzy because it does go upside down, sort of, it twists and turns quite a bit. So if you're not careful, it can definitely get you, but just really neat the way they have that whole thing set up. After that, it was time to hop back on the Hogwarts Express, except this time in the other direction. Over to King's Cross Station and back to Diagon Alley to close out the day. So here's part of Diagon Alley that apparently a lot of people miss. <laughs> yeah, it's a little dark in here. There's a good look at the shop for you. Well, here's Aaron. Yeah. Well, I think he actually did it. He made it stop. Now make it start again. There you go. It's raining! And of course, end of the day, shopping time! Gotta get my daughter a pygmy puff, because, you know, she's a Hufflepuff. I thought about getting her one of the owls, but decided that might cause a little bit of a ruckus. 
We also stopped over at Weasley's, which was just incredible. Again, it looks like right out of the movie. The only complaint was it was a little on the small side and crowded, but just so much stuff to look at. So this is Diagon Alley. You see the bank on top of the Gringotts and all the shops. This is the end of the day, and I'll be honest, I'm tired. It has been an awesome day, but it's been really cool. You see everything here, flourishing blocks. And there's so much more back there. The Weasley shop is right there. Exit. So much to see. Dude. It, it's really neat. If you are a Harry Potter fan, you will really like this. And I think our dragon is going to put an exclamation point to the day. Hey, what do you have to say up there? On that note, it's time to say goodnight to an awesome day.